Hi there, I'm Brian Taylor, owner of Highway RV in Lake Alfred, Florida. Today I want to take you on a tour of this 2006 Beaver Monterey. This is the Laguna 4 floor plan, which is about 40 feet long with four slide outs. Uh, this one we have priced right now under $80,000. It's a great motorhome. Let's go ahead and start our tour on the inside. Okay, let's go ahead and start our tour of this motorhome here on the inside. This is a 2006 Beaver Monterey. This is the Laguna 4 floor plan. The Laguna 4 is a 40-foot motorhome. The overall dimension is 40 foot 10 inches long. It's got four slide outs, and this one's powered by a 300 and, uh, or actually a 400 horsepower Caterpillar C9. And this has the Allison six-speed transmission, and it rides on a Roadmaster M-Series chassis. Uh, what we're going to do in this tour is I'm going to take you through the Laguna 4 floor plan, show you how it's laid out. I'm also going to point out some of the features on the coach and also show you the condition it's in. We do these videos. If you haven't watched ours before, I say it every time, but probably get tired of hearing it. But we do these videos so that you can do real shopping in the comfort of your home and that you can get a, a real accurate representation of the uh, cosmetic condition of the motorhome through the video. Uh, we're not going to gloss over any flaws or worn items. Uh, we're going to point that out if, uh, if there is something to point out. I mean, this is a 2006 motorhome. I believe it's in phenomenal condition for its uh, for a 2006 but it does have flaws and we'll point that out as we go I, I really think that's what most people want to know is you know what uh, at the end of the day is wrong with it so um, you know that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through the floor plan and show it to you uh, this particular one has 99,824 miles um, if you're familiar with diesels, you know that's not a big deal. Um, it's more the chassis that you have to pay attention to, or the motorhome portion, I should say, that you need to pay attention to as far as wear and tear, because really the engine, transmission, and chassis are all set up to go hundreds of thousands of miles. Uh, you're not going to have um, any problems at all, or you shouldn't have any problems at all if it's been well maintained, and this one has. And um, you just want to make sure that things have been uh, taken care of on the motorhome side and there's not wear and tear uh, extensively on that side. So we do have 99,000 miles on it, but uh, in relation, I would say, you know, on a gasoline motorhome, I would say it equates out to something like maybe having a, a 40,000 mile uh, gasoline motorhome. I mean, that's just an opinion. That's not a fact or anything, but I, I think a diesel is built uh, so much heavier that it's going to hold up a lot better. And... Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in. We'll start up here at the front. First thing you'll notice, we've got a really nice solid cherry cabinetry. Now the doors are solid and all of the, the, the cabinet boxes are solid cherry. So this is a really top-notch quality uh, cabinetry. Beaver was kind of known for the quality of their cabinetry. Um, and and uh, Monaco purchased Beaver uh, sometime in the 2000s, uh, I think around 2002, maybe three. I could be off a couple of years on that. But they purchased Beaver because of the quality of their cabinetry and their wiring, from what I've always heard. And we'll see when we go outside, they actually have every wire in this coach going to the fixtures and going to the individual items has has a label on it so it's very easy when you're in the wiring compartment to track down um, a, a wiring issue um, so right up in here we have our magnum inverter control uh, we've got our awning controls right here we've got two power awnings a, a power patio awning and a power entry awning uh, and we have our slide controls, and this is a reset for the Aladdin coach management system. I'll talk more about that in just a moment. Uh, up here we have room for more electronics. Over here we have a Samsung flat screen television. This is an upgraded television, um, more modern than the one that would have come with it. Uh, you can see we've got speakers on either side, so it's got a surround system, um, or is capable of a surround system. We've got uh, storage up here. And then uh, you'll notice that the shades in the front are MCD style shades. Uh, these are MCD branded, in fact, in the front. You've got a full room darkening shade behind this black um, 
screen right here, you've got a cream colored room darkening shade that will give you complete privacy. And then you've got the light filtering side, so if you want to let some light in, but you want to have a bit of privacy, you can leave the uh, room darkening part open and you can see out, but it's really hard for people to see in at that time, at that point, and it's also uh, blocks some of the light coming in. So we have those all around the front and they're motorized up here. I uh, believe that all of them are motorized, yes, even the side ones are motorized. Um, both the captain's chairs are in excellent condition. These are ultra leather fabric and they are in near perfect condition. There's not any rips or tears or stains on them that I see. Uh, if there is anything on them, it's going to be a little nick somewhere in an out of way area because all the seating area and armrests are in phenomenal condition. Uh, almost look uh, not brand new, but I mean really close to brand new. We've got a custom rug up here at the front that covers the tile. I'll talk more about that in a little bit. Our dashboard's in great shape. Over here we have our stereo. Over here is our screen for our backup monitor and also for our Aladdin coach monitoring system. This has Aladdin, the Aladdin system, which is going to not only give you trip computing while you're driving and engine diagnostic stuff like that, it's also going to allow you to monitor other things in the coach like black water tanks, gray water tanks, things like that. So you really use your screens and your computer system for a lot of the items on uh, this motorhome. Over here we have HWH computerized leveling, a CB which just isn't as useful as it used to be. I've, I've just heard that there's not as much uh, there's just not as much use with those now with uh, you know, cell phones and texting and all of that type of stuff. But right here's our um, our joystick for the Aladdin system, you just power that up and you see a menu system come up and it's very easy to navigate uh, to get information that you may want while you're driving. We have a smart wheel right here so you can operate your uh, wipers, your lights and your cruise control from the steering wheel. And uh, all this cabinetry up here is in nice shape. It's probably the only area on any of the cabinetry that really shows any, any amount of significant wear that really shows up at all. We got a few little nicks and scratches on the top of this just from normal use because this is where people are going to lay their keys when they come in. Uh, when you're driving, you're going to have stuff laying up here. It's certainly not in bad shape or abused. It just has more wear and tear than other areas on the uh, coach. Now if this was significant we would probably refinish it and make it look perfect but it's really not bad uh, and it's just something that most people won't notice unless you're really looking for it. Uh, now I mentioned the custom cab or the custom um, rug. What we have is a fully retrofitted tile floor in here and it is a high-end luxury, uh, luxury vinyl tile. It was done up in I believe Indiana and the quality of the work on this is, a, I think, the best quality aftermarket job I've ever seen. They have taken it up to the edges perfectly. Everything fits just absolutely perfect to the point that it looks factory. There's really not a whole lot of clues that it's not a factory floor other than I just know that it's not. Um, but the vinyl floor looks identical to regular um, ceramic and you have real grout joints in in between them so this is kind of the best of both worlds you get the look of tile with I think better wear because you don't have to worry about chips and you don't have to worry about cracks so it just it looks just like ceramic but it's lighter and it flexes and it, and it just is a better choice for motorhomes that's all that we put in motorhomes anymore when we are doing retrofitting. We only do vinyl flooring. It just is almost the perfect perfect material for motorhomes. Over here we have our, um, our sleeper sofa. It is a full sleeper sofa that will pull out of here and uh, just like a hide a bed. All of the upholstery on here is, is in virtually perfect condition. I really don't see any wear or tear on it. Um, that would give you a clue that it's anything but brand new. I mean, if this was a 2016 model or 17 model, I think people would believe it. Uh, we do have um, a different brand of shades in the rest of the coach because originally it would have had pleated shades. They put the Slow Rise brand in. It matches the MCDs perfectly in style and color, but they're just a different brand. And these actually I like really well because the slow rise is exactly what it, it says. It, when you let it go, it will rise slowly. When it's adjusted properly, 
it will just very gently go up and down. So I notice we do have a flickering light bulb right there. We have LED lights throughout the coach, so I do need to, uh, to replace that bulb right there. Uh, we have LEDs in a lot of the locations, I should say. Not all the coach, but a lot of LEDs uh, have been replaced. Over here, you have kind of a, a, a nice, I don't want to say a blank canvas because we've got a, a chair in here, but you've got a multi-use area that you could use and make whatever you want it to be. We have a European style recliner in here. It's a Thomas Paine recliner. It's brand new. Um, this way you don't have the separate ottoman. This, uh, this is a really nice chair, matches great with the color of the interior. We have dark brown in the window treatments and this blends perfectly. You could either put a desk over here, you could fit two of these chairs in there if you wanted to, or you could put a sofa, or you might just uh, like having that extra space right there. But this area is really nice to do almost whatever you want to with it. It looks great just the way it is. But um, I just want to kind of point out that you have that area right there where you can do pretty much whatever you want. All of our shades through here are in beautiful condition. Again, they're all the slow rise type with the complete room darkening and the light filtering side. We have a Corian freestanding dinette. This will pull out and we have a leaf in the back closet that will go in there to extend this out for uh, more seating. Both of the chairs here are in excellent condition. There's no rips or frays on the fabric. It's a really pretty color fabric. It looks like it um, is very uh, contemporary type fabrics in this coach. They don't look dated at all. Uh, this does not look like a uh, 2006 coach in my opinion. It looks uh, very updated. The carpet on the slide out is really just about one of the only areas we have carpet. We have some here and some in the back by the uh, diesel engine. Uh, but this carpet is in really nice shape. However, the front edge of it does show some soil. We've cleaned it and it's uh, not in bad shape. Uh, I don't believe it needs to be replaced, but it's not in 100% condition. I would say the, the carpet in this area is 80% or an 8 on the 10 scale. Uh, I don't believe it's ready to be replaced, but I just want to point out that there is some light wear and tear on the edge of that. It's just kind of a natural thing where when the slide's coming in, it tends to... Uh, this bound edge will, will, will move up against the floor, plus when you're sweeping the floor, a lot of times you're brushing up against this edge and it'll just tend to get a little dirtier than the rest of the coach. Um, but it is in good shape and we of course will send it out with a fresh steam clean on it and it'll, it'll look even better than it does now. Coming over to the kitchen, we have Corian countertops, we have a double bowl sink over here, and these are a Corian undermount style sink. Uh, it's, it's a thick sink, not just a plastic uh, thin uh, sink. Uh, it's a really nice substantial uh, material. It's in great shape. There's not uh, many, any scratches or discoloration in there. Our faucet's in nice shape. It's one of the pot filler designs. It's got some, ba you know, just minor little scratches on the front here just from washing dishes and things like that, but uh, it's in nice condition overall. All the countertops are in really, really nice shape. Uh, no chips or deep scratches on them that I see at all. Coming back here, we've got a two burner cooktop that is recessed and the glass on it is in, it's a glass top and it's in fantastic condition. You do have burners here that aren't glass, but they show very light wear, uh, nothing significant. Uh, another thing that I hadn't mentioned yet in this video is if you're from very far away and you're interested in this motorhome, let us know because we'll take a very detailed picture package of everything that I'm showing you and we'll send you out on a coach like this probably 150 to 200 pictures of every surface, every flaw that we can find so that um, if you're not able to see it in this video, you'll be able to see it uh, in the pictures. And uh, even if something's in great shape, we're gonna take a picture of it. If it shows wear, we're gonna take a picture of it, but you'll virtually get a picture of every surface in the motorhome and outside the motorhome. So we do those um, and it, it, it makes it virtually almost impossible for someone to come here from very far away and get here and not be, uh, not be uh, happy with the motorhome or be disappointed because we do our best uh, possible that we can to point out uh, all the uh, stuff with the motorhome. Under here we've got plenty of storage. We've got 
uh, some nice drawers here, nice big deep drawers. One thing I didn't point out in this cabinetry, we've got nice carpet lining in here that Beaver, Beaver had, had done it from the manufacturing. Uh, it's brand, it's, you know, when it was brand new, it had that carpeting in it. It's hard for me to say. Uh, but it's really nice because it keeps stuff from, from rattling. It keeps stuff from shifting around as easily. This is a really nice cabinet door here. It folds out, and it's a really deep area here, nice for spices. And you've got plenty of deep shelving in there for uh, bigger items. All of this cabinetry is in beautiful shape. There's not any scratches or anything like that where you know fingernails grab behind the clasps and things like that. There's no areas down here beneath the sink where you can see that like water's dripped on it and, and messed up the finish or anything. It looks in uh, virtually 100% condition. All of these drawers here uh, offer lots of storage. Nice big drawers. This one's a, a deep pot and pan drawer right there. Up above, we have a microwave convection oven, so you can uh, both microwave and um, uh, bake in this oven. It's in nice condition. Up above, we have a little bit of storage up there. Uh, coming over to here, we have a, pot, a pantry, and it has slide-out racks in it. You just grab these and pull them out like that, and you can access that two different ways, either from inside this way or you can pull them out. There's another area where we have that further up here I didn't show you, but we have that same type of, of uh, shelving in here. We've got a, a nice uh, rack here that you could put cleaning supplies in or whatever you might want to do, and you can make use of every inch of that cabinetry space. Uh, coming over here, we have what looks to be a residential refrigerator, but it's not. It is an RV refrigerator. It runs off propane or electric, and um, it's a stainless steel front. It's, it's about the same size as a regular residential refrigerator. has an ice maker with ice in the door, so it's got that residential look. Uh, it's in beautiful condition. There's not any... Uh, any dents or anything like that on the front of it. It's perfectly smooth. The floor's all in good, good uh, shape through this traffic area. That's one of the nice things about vinyl is it really doesn't show hardly any wear and tear. You gotta really gouge it in order to, to really show uh, any damage. And when you have the really high quality flooring like this, it has a very thick wear layer. It is a lot different than the Home Depot or Lowe's vinyl flooring that you see in that this has a wear layer, layer that's probably four or five times thicker um, and this type of flooring costs usually about four to six dollars a square foot just for the material. It is a definitely a high-end choice. Coming back here to our bathroom, over here we have a vanity with a huge mirrored medicine cabinet up above. Oops, let go of that, sorry about that. Right here we have our countertop, we've got a satin finish uh, faucet right here. It it shows some minimal wear on it, uh, just normal wear and tear I would say, but it's not in brand new condition. All the cabinetry is in brand new condition. All of this area looks great. Our drawers look great. Uh, you've got a bank of a total of six drawers, three on either side. Uh, one thing I didn't point out when we were up front is we do have the multiplex lighting in this motorhome. You just press a button on these lighted keypads and that's how you control your lights rather than switches and it's a, just a really nice upgraded uh, way of turning your lights on and off. In here we've got a nice big corner shower and I want to step in here to show just how large it is. I'm about 5'10", maybe 5'11 on a good day and I can barely reach, well I can, my fingertips reach the top of the uh, of the sunroof or the uh, skylight. It is extremely tall. Even the tallest of people are going to feel comfortable in this uh, in this shower and there's plenty of shoulder room even for big folks. So uh, all of this is in great condition. All we show is just some normal uh, wear and tear on some of the fixtures uh, but nothing that's uh, significant at all and again we'll show you those up, up close pictures on um, our detailed picture package. Coming over here into the toilet room, we have a midship toilet, and uh, in here we have all of our uh, our breakers and controls for the multiplex lighting. And then down here we have some drawers. Over here we have storage underneath the sink. Another mirrored medicine cabinet. So we do have two. 
we do have two sinks in this, one out there and one in here, so both his and her uh, can get ready together in the morning. Uh, it's kind of nice having the two sinks. Uh, all of the cabinetry is in great condition in here. All of the walls are in great shape. There's no splatter from like cleaning the toilets or using the little hand sprayer. Uh, sometimes you'll have water stains and stuff in here, but it's in perfect condition. Uh, our toilet's uh, in great condition. It is a china uh, bowl toilet, uh, like a residential style. Right back behind that in our hallway, we have a stacker washer dryer. Now the bottom is a Maytag, the top is a Splendid, and this is a uh, dryer up here and washer down below. They are mismatched, but they look the same. They look very similar. It blends nicely. It's behind a cabinet door, so it, it gets the job done. Uh, but this way you've got kind of um, more like apartment type fixtures um, where you can get a lot more laundry done than a combo unit. So we've got both those. Back in here in the bedroom, in the stateroom, master stateroom, we have a large king bed. The, um, it is, it has been widened. Originally, this would have probably been a queen bed. I'm going to step over to the other side here. Um, this has been widened. Uh, they have taken the original end table off, and now the controls and the light switches that are beside the bed are mounted in a nice panel on the wall. Uh, but that's enabled in order to get a king bed in here that end table had to be um, removed now this would be easy to take back to Queen it would not be that big of a deal the hardest part would just be uh, getting a uh, getting a countertop made for the end table but it's um, most people are going to like the king bed it, it, it's a really nice feature and I would say the overwhelming majority of people like the uh, having the king bed back here we have a upholstered headboard that blends perfectly with our with our uh, bedspread, and it's in fantastic condition. I don't see any flaws on it whatsoever. We have a mirror behind the headboard. Um, we have lighting up above for reading. All of this cabinetry is in beautiful condition. We've got a nice detail down the, the uh, front face of the slide out back here. We have some cabinetry over here to the side, no area wasted. We have a bank of four drawers right here. Then we come over to this side and we've got a bank of nine drawers over in here and um, a nice big area up here for getting ready or just decorations, whatever you want to do with it. This room does still have the pleated shades back here. Uh, it is a room darkening shade. They're in perfect condition, but that, uh, that is not the slow rise like we have in the front. Let's give you a good look at the, the um, color of the window treatments back here. They're a deep, deep plum color. Really, really pretty. Uh, very pretty material and in excellent condition. Back here we have another bank of drawers below. Plenty of storage in this motorhome. Right in here we've got an area to put electronics. If you want to put a satellite receiver or a Blu-ray player or something like that. We have another upgraded Samsung television back here. And in order to not waste any area, this lifts up and we have a safe behind here. So that's a kind of a nice feature to have. We have a, a safe now and it's a nice hidden area. Back here, we have uh, deep, deep storage in here. This is good stacking storage. There's not a hanging rod, but this would be great for bedding and things like that. Yet another four drawers below that. And then I need to pull this up. This. Uh, back uh, wardrobe has your hanging storage everything's in beautiful condition back in there uh, we have a light in there it's not on right now but we have lighting in there and um, the only other uh, carpet in the motorhome is back here on the engine compartment and in that closet and then this little strip right here uh, on the um, on this step up area which we don't ever really step on this it's just the front face of that rear slide out all of our flooring is in great shape back here i don't see any evidence in the ceilings or walls of any leaks everything is in great shape so that's pretty much the inside of the motor home let's go ahead and continue our tour on the outside Okay, let's go ahead and continue our tour of this motor home here on the outside. Again, this is a 2006 Beaver uh, Monterey. It's the Laguna 4 floor plan. 
That is a powered by a 400 horsepower Caterpillar C9, got the Allison six-speed transmission on a Roadmaster M-Series chassis, and this one has about 99,000 miles on it. Up here at the front, the front of the coach is in really, really great condition. There's barely any little rock chips or anything on the paint. They're very, very minor, with the exception of one chip right here that I need to touch up. It is a more substantial chip, uh, more like about a, maybe a half an inch across. Um, other than that, all of this paint is virtually a near flawless. Um, not brand new, but the, any other chips on it are limited to the size of the lead of, say, a mechanical pencil. Just a very, very tiny little chip. Uh, it does not have the clear protection film on the front, which in my opinion is a good thing. It's been removed, and that's why the front is in such good shape. It was removed a few years ago. It's not hard to take care of the paint in the front if you're a bit more a bit diligent. However, if you have the clear protection film, you can just about bet, at least here in the south, you're going to be replacing it every eight years or so, I would say. It just does not hold up that well down here in the south. Uh, our chrome mirrors are in nice shape. There is some corrosion. It's a Velvac mirror. If you're familiar with them, you know that it's a cast aluminum, I believe cast aluminum base. And these areas sometimes have peeling chrome. This chrome is not peeling. It hasn't blistered and come off, but it has blistered. It hasn't peeled and opened up, but there are some blisters on it. It still looks good, but uh, that is a pretty common thing. It happens after just a few years, usually. Uh, very rarely do you see one of these that are in uh, really, really top-notch shape after few years. But the chrome on this plate, this part's nice. The arms look good. Um, it's just I would say that the uh, the bases have some some corrosion underneath the chrome. Coming back from there, the sidewalls of the coach are in beautiful condition. The paint is shiny. There's not any peeling clear coat. Um, there's not checkering in the paint. Uh, it's just in really, really nice condition. Um, the door here is in great shape. It's, an, it's a great place to look at the scheme. We've got kind of a champagne gold color with a, 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 a burgundy wine color. Uh, and a, kind of a bronze. Uh, so it's a three color scheme, full body paint, of course. Um, got keyless entry right here. You've got a, a grab handle here, a lit grab bar. It does show, like so many of these handles, a bit of checkering in the clear. Um, it's like a clear polycarbonate tube. These are not expensive to replace, but I uh, just want to point out that it does have some of the, uh, some of the crackling in it. Um, up front we have Toyo Rubber, uh, it's a 16 date code on that. Coming back to our slide room here, paint's in really nice shape. Right here's our side opening bay door and behind here we have our Hydra Hot or Aqua Hot system. That's a hydronic heating system and that's going to give you continuous hot water when it's on diesel, when it's fired on diesel, and it's also going to give you coach heat. Uh, when you're in, uh, that's where your fur what your furnace is. Uh, it's the the hydro hot. Now, when you're driving, you one nice benefit of this is that you automatically have hot water when you're driving, and you'll have coach heat available because it's going to circulate engine coolant through the engine, and that's going to keep. Uh, that's going to heat up the water in the water vessel and it also is going to route that tubing into heat exchangers that are scattered through the inside of the motorhome. I should have pointed that out when we were on the inside uh, because this is a, a significant upgrade. These um, are about a $10,000 unit and uh, this one works beautifully. If you have any questions about Aqua Hot or Hydra Hot, give us a call. But this is one of those, one of those features that you're really looking for on a true high-end luxury coach. There's a few things that we're looking for on a luxury coach. I'm looking for a side radiator on the motor, which we have on this. I'm looking for aqua hot and I'm looking for solid wood cabinetry. And that's something that we have in this as well. So that firmly puts the Beaver Monterey into luxury diesel territory as opposed to just say a midline diesel. Um, if I close this door, our uh, body, the, all of the bays are in great shape. There's no dents or anything like that on any of them. 
any damage on them is limited to just normal little rock chips. Now, if you're seeing a bunch of specks on the paint right now, it is blind mosquito season in Florida, and we've got dozens or hundreds of these little blind mosquitoes everywhere on the lot, and they are on everything, on paint and on our building. Uh, they are mosquitoes that don't bite, but they're just a nuisance, and they get on the motorhomes and trailers, and they're just a pain. But if you're seeing that, that's probably what you're seeing are these little bugs because there's very, very few chips. There may be a little rock chip here or there, but that's the extent of any wear and tear. In here, we have a slide bay, a slide tray. It's not a full pass-through bay, but it goes back probably two-thirds of the way, and you can pull this tray out, and uh, we have some window, custom window covers in there. Now, this is a full pass-through storage bay. And this has a, a slide tray as well, and it will pull out and, or go out the other direction, either way. And you've got full pass-through. Now, if I close both of those doors, oops, I need to latch that one. We've got, um, we got a little chip right here uh, on the edge of that door. Anything else is limited to just um, regular little wear and tear, rock chip type things, just a, just a handful here and there. Coming back from there, this is not a bay door. This is just a uh, panel. Uh, all that's in great shape. All of this paint's in beautiful condition. Uh, back here we have another bay door, um, or a bay storage bay, a small storage bay in there. This is our battery compartment. We've got Lifeline batteries. They're a sealed AGM battery. And we've got our starting batteries over here. The batteries are in great condition. They hold the charge really, really well. Over here is our fuel, uh, our fuel filter, and that's that Cat C9 engine back in there. I close that door. Uh, the paint's in equally great condition back there. The slide out's great. We do have window awnings around all the windows. These just pull down and latch onto this area, and um, that will give you a little uh, awning uh, over each of the windows. And you can see we've got a big patio awning. That is an electric patio awning uh, over the patio area. Back here is that Cat C9 engine. We do not clean these engines on purpose. We want you to see how they are uh, when they come in. We'll be glad to clean them for you if you would like, but most people don't want to see this all cleaned up and uh, freshly cleaned because you won't be able to tell if there's any fresh oil leaks. If we leave it this way, you can see that there's no fresh oil leaks or anything like that, and then we, again, we'd be glad to clean it for you if you would like. But uh, this is something we deliberately do in order for you to be able to tell whether or not uh, something's being covered up or hidden back here. The back uh, wall of the motorhome is in great shape. All of the paint's beautiful condition up there. We have a ladder going up to the roof and we have the ladder extension and one of the bay doors on the side. Uh, the bumper's in great shape with the exception of one scratch about an inch and a half long right here. And that's just about it on the whole bumper. Coming around to this side, we've got that side radiator you can see right here. Um, that's what allows you to see the back end of that motor so nicely. If you were looking at, say, a mid-range motor home, you're going to have that radiator in the back, and the only way to access the engine is to go inside the coach and pull up the hatches in the bedroom and access the engine from down there or on either side of it. But this is a much better setup. In here, we have our power uh, cord reel. We've got our, our 50 amp cord in here, and we have a, a built-in surge guard, surge protector uh, on the back wall there. If I close that door down, it's in great shape as well. On this side, there's no dents or large scratches in any of the bay doors over here. The paint's in beautiful condition all over the whole um, side on, on the driver's side. Here's our wet bay, and you can see we've got our black and gray water dumps down here and this is a water manifold system so let's say you had a problem with the um, with the uh, shower you had a leak in the shower well you can come in here and just turn off the shower and that way you'll have water to all the other parts of the motorhome still and you won't have to cut all the water off so having this water water manifold block is really nice way to elim uh, to isolate individual areas on the coach uh, when it comes to the plumbing We've got an Aladdin gauge over here so you can see the black and gray water, um, uh, a digital readout on the black and gray water and fresh tank. This door's in good shape. We've got a couple of minor surface scratches on here that would probably buff out. Back here is our full pass-through storage bay that we saw on the other side. 
This door is in virtually perfect condition. This is the back side of our big refrigerator. And then the slide out has two more big bays in it. Now, we don't have full pass-through storage in this section of the motorhome because we put the storage, beavers put the storage bays in the slide out. So this is a, um, some people really love this setup because you don't have to get underneath the slide out to get stuff from this side of the motorhome. So uh, you've got a nice big bay there. That's large enough to put a pretty good size ladder in or whatever you might want to put in there. It's a nice big bay and it's in beautiful condition in there. If I close these bay doors down, I've got a couple of tiny, tiny little scuffs on here and light surface scratches. Stuff that I'm sure uh, with a wax job would come out. Um, got a tiny little chip in the paint there, but uh, and a scratch here that's about a chip, maybe about an inch long. But other than that, it's in beautiful condition. I would say the paint on the motorhome overall is a 9 on the 10 scale. With some touch-up, it might be a 9.5. But the, the nuts and bolts of the paint are beautiful. You can't see any flaws till you're right up on it. Um, I, again, I hope that you don't take it the wrong way when we point out these flaws. I know with a lot of dealers, if, you were, if they were to say, there's a little scratch on the paint, you probably get there and the whole corner of the motorhome is caved in. But we're trying to be just up front and not gloss over anything. I don't want to make it seem worse than it is or better than it is. If it's got a little scratch, I'm going to tell you it's got a little scratch. I don't think any 2006 that's been used much is going to have no scratches on it. I just want to point out uh, if it's got them, but it's in beautiful condition. Down in here is <coughs> the, the wiring compartment for uh, the motorhome. Now up here this is a computer board uh, for the HWH leveling system and slide outs and stuff. We have a power uh, slide for the generator right here. While I'm talking about this I will slide the generator out and all of these wires you can see how well organized they are and loomed together. Each one of these has printing on them. Like this is a ground wire and I can't see what it's for because of the tie wrap. But right here is a uh, passenger visor, horn power, um, low beams, generator start. Every wire is labeled. So that's a really, really great thing to have when you're trying to trace down a problem. It's all laid out, <coughs> super duper organized, and um, just so well done. Uh, it's just a really, really nice thing. I don't normally talk about that part of a motorhome, but on a beaver, that is actually a, a really big plus. It makes uh, diagnosing wiring problems so much easier. Up here, we've got our own 8,000 K, uh, KW generator. It's a diesel generator, of course. And this one has 3,300 hours. Uh, it's been used some. Um, just for reference, uh, I spoke to uh, Onan a few years ago on a motorhome that I bought that had about 7,000 hours on the generator. I was a bit concerned about it, so I called around, I believe I called to Onan and a couple of other people to get a scoop on it. And I was told that basically you're good for 15,000 hours, maybe even 20,000 hours before you have to do anything with it. They are built for the long haul and uh, they are certainly not going to be any problem uh, with a, a few thousand hours on them. We've never had problems with owning generators, especially diesel generators, and uh, definitely the, the higher time ones, I think, have been, you know, almost no trouble compared to a low time one is, is usually where we'll have more trouble than a high time one, so especially on, uh, on gasoline stuff. They like to be, uh, they like to be ran. So that's pretty much the outside of this Beaver Monterey. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I know it's been a long video, but we really wanted to give you a good look into the condition that it's in. If you have any questions, call us at Highway RV. Our number is 863-956-1036. You can visit us online at highwayrv.com. You can also see us on our Facebook page at our Highway RV Facebook page. And if you're watching this video on YouTube and you like the video and you'd like to keep up on some of our other inventory items, click the subscribe button and you'll get a notification whenever we film a new video. It's a, it's a great way to stay up on all the new inventory that we have here. We try our best to film as many, <clears throat> as many of the motorhomes as we can. Um, so definitely click that subscribe button. 
Again, I thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I sure hope it's been helpful to you. You have a great day and God bless.